What's up everybody? Spike Man Dan coming at you live. Welcome to all YouTubers. So what we got here is a Coleman CT100U. I've done some uh, modifications since the last time you guys seen me do the Governor Bypass. So basically what I've done, as you can see, I took off the stock sprocket here, which is a 76 tooth. And I ordered online a 70 tooth. So we're six teeth shy of the stock sprocket size. And if you notice, it's got a little bit of a better design pattern. Looks pretty cool. And it's solid black, so it matches the tire. I like that. I've also gone ahead and adjusted and resized the chain. If you notice, there's no slack. I mean, very little to no slack. Because for anybody who's ever made a left turn on one of these bikes and they had a loose chain, obviously knows the chain snaps or binds. And that's not a good thing. So you definitely want to have your chain pretty tight. And... Ever since the test run, I, I have not had a chance to make a uh, video test run yet, but I've uh, actually gone ahead and ran this in the neighborhood. It's about 3 a.m. in the morning, but yeah. Made it without no cops called, thank God. I got some pretty cool neighbors in the neighborhood, so they know what I'm up to. But yeah, uh, if anything, I can definitely say the uh, the difference between this sprocket and that sprocket, you go a little bit quicker. The acceleration takes a tiny bit longer, but not by far much. But you will definitely see an increase in top speed. So that's my review for right now on the uh, sprocket change. My name is Spike Man Dan, and I hope you all enjoyed this review. Please go ahead and subscribe, and don't forget to like this video. And uh, I'll keep those videos coming on the uh, next upgrade on this bike. And that's a wrap.